Hi, Elaine here. Today, I'll be showing you how to use a great free app to quickly and easily make a Yosemite boot disc for your Mac. It's always a good plan to be prepared for disaster, never more so than when it comes to your computer. And step one of that is to create an emergency boot disc for your Mac. Now, there are several ways that you can create a boot disk, but using Disk Maker X is one of the most hands off, for which read, terminal free ways to do that. And that's the way that I'll be showing you today. As with previous versions of OS X since Lion launched in 2011, Yosemite is available only as a download from the Mac App Store. Now, it's a free update, so it's simply a matter of downloading it from the store. It will be downloaded into your applications folder and it will attempt to automatically run. And there's one thing that you need to be aware of, though. As soon as it's installed from your applications folder, that installation file will be deleted. Now, you can re-download it again, but that takes time and it takes bandwidth. So you've got a couple of options. You could stop the automatic install and make a boot disk before it gets deleted. But better still, you could make a copy of the installer and move it to another location for future use. And that's exactly what I've done here. DiskMaker X is available from DiskMakerX.com. And it's a free application, although they do accept donations if you find it useful. So download and install it and you'll be good to follow along. So with the Yosemite installer downloaded, and DiskMaker X installed, we're ready to roll. Step one, run DiskMaker. Now, the first option shows you that it supports the creation of boot disks for three different versions of OS X. Mavericks 10.9, Yosemite 10.10 .10, and El Capitan 10.11. In this case, choose Yosemite. As I've said, by default, Yosemite will be downloaded to your applications folder, but it doesn't need to be in that location for the following process to work. So DiskMaker makes an attempt to locate the installer. I've moved my copy to the desktop so we can actually see it. And DiskMaker finds it in that location. If DiskMaker can't find the installer, or you would like to use a different version from the one that it does find, then use that button that says use another copy. And you'll be able to select the installer that you want to use. The next step is to select the drive or the device to be used as the basis of the installer. Now, at a minimum, it needs to be an 8 gig USB stick, but you do have other options as this dialog box explains. Now, what they're talking about is taking a larger disk and creating multiple partitions on it and then installing different OS X versions to each partition. Yes, the kind of thing a geek does. So I've got one of these things myself, but I still use pen drives as well. Next, you'll need to select the disk you want to use as your boot disk. And DiskMaker will display all the disks it finds. In this case, it's found just the one. So all I need to do is to click that. Then a rather scary dialog box is next, warning you that the disk you selected is about to be erased. Confirm that this is the correct disk. And then it's a simple matter of clicking the erase then create the disk button and waiting for the process to complete. Now, this dialogue is warning you that you need to expect to be prompted to enter an administrator password. Uh, when that comes up, you need to enter the password and then confirm it. At that point, DiskMaker starts copying files. And this can take a while, depending on the speed of the machine and the speed of the drive that you've selected. And there's that password dialog box. So enter the password and confirm. And then it's back to copying files. For me, with a USB 2 drive, that took about seven to eight minutes. When the copying is complete, the installer is displayed in the Finder window. But you mustn't miss the rather alarming notification that tells you the job's finished. I know I didn't, and it was rather alarming as I wasn't expecting it. Are you ready? Yes, that tells you that the job's done. So let's recap. You'll need to download Yosemite from the Mac App Store, make a copy of the installer and leave it somewhere safe, download and install DiskMaker X from DiskMakerX.com and make your disk. And it's always a good idea to check your boot disk actually works by booting to it. You don't want the first time you find out it's not working properly to be when you really need it. Well, I hope that helps you. And if you want new tutorials and tips and tricks on a regular basis, check out my free training at elainegiles.com slash VIP. And if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. And I always appreciate it when you share it with your friends.
If you have any requests for specific tutorials, please be sure to contact me. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.